All right, so for this week's um, notes that I have here, I believe we were asking about um, the differences between the two birth mothers of art therapy. Um, the first was Edith Kramer, who they are considering the grandmother of art therapy, and then Margaret Nomberg, who they are saying is the mother of art therapy, um, and actually was the one that came up with the definition and defined it and made it a thing. Um, obviously, art therapy was being used before this, again, by Edith Kramer and generations and generations before that, um, just sort of unregulated, I guess you would say. Um, in the original, um, in Ms. Kramer's original view, therapy was actually through the creation of the art itself. Um, so it was simply the act of getting that information down, um, scribble drawing, things like that, not actually analyzing it or doing anything with it once it's down on paper or whatever substance you're using for your art. Um, it was not until Margaret Thomberg, or Nomberg um, actually came about that they were able to sort of dive into those art pieces and pick out symbolism and meaning from the art itself. Um, and in this case is when you finally see the art therapist actually being a support system for the other person. So um, the therapy comes through the interpretation of the art itself. And it was clear, it was made clear that although there's the difference there where there's an inter interpretation. Um, I need more coffee, sorry. Um, that although the art therapy is there as a support, it's not the therapist that's doing the analyzing of the art. It's still the artist, and that is the therapy, is the artist themselves coming up with what that meant, what they put down on paper, and what that really meant to them and how it made them feel. The second part of the, the second, I'm sorry, the second question that was here was about the um, differences between Freud and Jung. Um, Freud has come up in every one of my classes so far. He's the, you know, came up with the psycho psychoanalysis um, theory, I guess that is, um, which is the uh, mental, physical, or mind-body connection. Um, so to me, I was looking at this as him being more in line with Kramer because it was actually the action of putting your mind to paper and leaving that there. And then Jung, who came up with the depth psychology um, and sort of interpreted those dreams and symbolism and the meaning of the imagery there. So he was kind of more in line with Nomberg, whereas they were able to analyze what is then put on paper. So it's all intertwined, but there are pretty clear differences there. Um, and then the last thing was about the racial and cultural differences in art therapy. Um, and the fact that there is not a large percentage of racially diverse and culturally diverse art therapists in society today and why that may be. And to me, it's pretty clear cut that it's the same as any other profession, unfortunately, where generally white males and in art therapy, apparently white females, were able to have access to this type of education and um, were, quite frankly, listened to about things and ideas that they had here. Um, I certainly hope that I can see more diverse therapists get into the field because um, there are certainly very different racial and cultural things going on when it comes to beliefs and traits and even traumas that can occur in different cultures. So it's very important for there to be a support system for each of those types of people that's going through something.